for this video, we are exploring the Manila Zoological and Botanical Garden, which is more commonly called Manila Zoo. It first opened to the public on July 25, 1959. It is not the oldest zoo in Asia, but it has been around for a while now, hosting a variety of both exotic and native plants and animals. Join me on this adventure as we explore the wild path. at the entrance, you just have to go to the registration area here. And then you have to scan the QR code, fill out the form. Afterwards, you can pay online through Zcash, PayMaya, and other services. However, if you don't have online um, cash with you, you can pay through the kiosk. So just click the kiosk to pay here. After that, you go to this area where you can pay through the kiosk. And then after that, you'll get your own ticket, which looks like this. After that, you can now enter the zoo. The last time I visited this place was in 2016, before the renovation took place. And I must say that it improved a lot in terms of enclosure design and overall aesthetic. Situated near the entrance is the zoo's most popular resident. Mali is a female Asiatic elephant which was brought to the Philippines from Sri Lanka in 1977 when she was around 3 years old. Now, she is about 48 to 49 years old.
just a few steps from Mali's enclosure, is the largest rodent in the world. This is the capybara, which is native to South America. In their natural habitat, they are found near bodies of water where they swim using their webbed feet to cool down or dive for up to 5 minutes to escape their predators. Opposite the capybara enclosure is the huge aviary for the multicolored stork, together with some geese and ducks, reside. Separated from this group on its own spacious enclosure is the vibrant peafowl. Peafowls have distinct sexual dimorphism or male and female differences. The peacock or the male is more colorful with a blue fan-like crest and the long train feathers with colorful eye spots. Peahen or the female has a dull plumage with iridescent green lower neck. Next to the aviary is the savanna, where the zebra, the Philippine deer, the ostrich share the space. They even have a pool and trees inside their enclosure, mimicking what their natural habitat might look like in the wild. Inside the savanna are the apex predators including the tigers and the lions.
Next to the Apex Predators is my favorite group, the Philippine Endemics. Philippine Endemic animals are the animals that are found only in the Philippines. These include the Terictic Hornbill, Bleeding Heart Pigeon, Philippine Swamp Hen, Palawan Peacock Pheasant and White-Eared Brown Fruit Tuffs, among others. These endemic animals deserve the spotlight in this zoo as they serve as a reminder of the rich biodiversity and uniqueness of our country's wildlife. Note, however, that some non-endemic species are also housed in this spot such as the Vermini kite, Green Imperial Pigeon. Next to this enclosure are the outdoor and indoor reptiles. On the outdoor enclosures, you will see the monitor lizard, crocodiles, tortoise, and turtles. The indoor enclosure houses the red iguana, a monitor lizard, Philippine sailfin lizard, snapping turtle. A 
African ball python. Burmese python. Philippine reticulated python and the elegant cobras of the Philippines including the Philippine spitting cobra and the summer cobra. Next to the reptile enclosure is the primate enclosure where kids may also play. Primates, just across the bridge, there are food stalls where you can buy some snacks and take a break before exploring the other spots in the zoo. Here, you can enjoy a nice meal with a relaxing view of the lagoon. I personally enjoyed observing the lizards and herons in the lagoon. Some are perched in groups high up in trees, and the others are hunting for prey near and on the water. They seem to have adapted to human presence and to the city chaos surrounding their oasis.
Before leaving the zoo, we checked out the butterfly garden and the souvenir shop as well as the botanical garden. Overall, this place is worth a visit for all ages. Whether you are looking for a learning opportunity or just a relaxing escape from the city's business, Manila Zoo is a great place for you.